Hello, I'm Linda Conley. I'm an enamel artist. This shows the making of one of my cloisonne enamels. Here the piece has been engraved using hand gravers. Enamel is glass and each colour has to be ground separately in the pestle and mortar to get the grains nice and even. The next step is to form the cloisonne wires. These are fine silver and they will be used to outline the design and in many cases will separate the different colours. The enamel is laid in very fine layers in amongst these wires once they've been fused into place. At each stage the layers of enamel have to and the wires have to be fired in the kiln at around 900 degrees for one or two minutes and that's repeated throughout the process. Once I form the wires using the design, then I start to place them on the actual piece and help hold them with a little bit of gum. And I have to make them follow the curve so that they'll stay in place whilst they go into the kiln and I don't drop them off. The next step is to put it in the kiln um, and then it will be fired in the kiln for one or two minutes until the wires are fused. Here we can see it's come out and all the wires are fused into place ready for the colour. The enamel is laid in very thin layers and the colour is built up over multiple firings. Each one, as I said, one or two minutes. This is the first full layer of colour and there will be around another six of them before the whole piece is finished. It's already had one base coat and two layers on the back of counter enamel to keep it in shape. Each layer was fired in the kiln. I use a steel tool just to poke those little grains into place to make sure I don't leave any air bubbles. Although this looks white, it will in actual fact be pink once it's fired. For the first few firings I need to cover the whole piece at the same time in all one layer. Later on I can get away with just doing part of it which makes it a lot easier to handle.
this is it before it goes into the kiln and now you can see it's come out of the kiln and it's glossy more layers another layer another firing finally I just have a few areas left to fill and I'm aiming to get to the top of the wires when I get to the top you can see there's just a few cells that need filling and then it'll be ready for grinding and polishing The piece has been through lots of stages now, including being ground and polished using a successive grits, including diamond polishing. And finally, I have a beautifully shiny enamel ready for setting. And here's the finished necklace, all set in silver with a handmade silver chain.